Have you ever felt frustrated as an artist when you set aside time to spend in your art practice only to find that you are completely disorganized? I have. There are several ways that an artist can stay organized so that we can be more productive. Tackling these organizational barriers can help you grow in your art skill because you're not wasting time. See if you can relate. So I work a full-time job, plus I am a full-time artist. So when it's time for me to work on my art projects, I wanna waste as little time as possible and make sure things are organized, I know where they are, and use tools that can help me to be productive when I'm working on those art projects. So I'm starting a new series on my channel to help you tackle your studio organization. And I'm starting with this new find. Many, many years ago, and honestly, probably sometime last week, I couldn't remember what paint I was using on a project. Sure, in most cases, I could figure it out, but I wasted so much time trying to figure this out and I had less time actually working on my art. Well, just recently, I found this amazing tool and I'll put the link below. It is called the Painter's Color Diary Watercolor and it's nine by 12. It's 100% cotton, 140 pounds, and it has 10 removable sheets inside. Have a watercolor texture and offer 35 blocks that you can put your um, paints in. Each page has a glassing interlay um, in between, which is really nice as well. Now, I decided to get this to help myself be more organized with my paints. So as an artist, I have different brands that I use. I've got Daniel Smith and Cotman watercolors. I've got Sui Gouache and Marie's brand gouache. And so I wanted a way to be able to reference what colors I had, specifically because you can buy these by the tubes. So sometimes there are different tubes that I might buy, and then I can use this as reference as well. So it's really helpful when I am working on a project and I want to find that perfect match um, or if I want to remember what I have used um, on whatever particular project I was working on. Really what it comes down to is it's a time saver. So I purchased this Daniel Smith um, Master Artist set by Jean Haynes. Um, and I wanted to make sure I got all of these swatches down and then I have bought a couple extras as well in addition to this first set. So I took the time to swatch out all of the different watercolors and gouaches that I had available in my studio. It was really simple. So I just opened the tube, got a little bit of the paint and had some clean water next to me and I began swatching in the different colors. It was important for me to reference the color at its purest and then I started to add water to it to, to dilute it so that you could see how it could go from the purest um, concentrate to a more um, diluted concentrate when you add water you get less of the pigment right so I wanted to be able to have a quick reference for this um, and so this worked out great for that you can also use this to mix. I have not done that yet, um, but you can also mix different colors and kind of figure out, you know, what two colors mix together to get you this result and that kind of thing. But we'll save that for another date. So why use this particular tool in your art studio? I talked about how you can really get yourself organized as an artist. Well, paint swatches can be incredibly helpful for artists in several ways. 
With color selections, paint swatches provide a convenient reference for selecting colors. Artists can compare different shades and hues to find that exact color they envision for their artwork. Color mixing is also very helpful. Swatches help artists understand how colors mix and blend together. By comparing swatches of different colors, for example, artists can experiment with mixing paints to achieve a new colors or tones. And again, that might be something I could do in another video. Right now, I'm just trying to get down the purest of the colors straight out of the tube. Another helpful reason is for consistency. Swatches provide a consistent reference point for artists to ensure that the color is consistent throughout their artwork. This is especially important for large scale projects or a series of paintings that you wanna work on because you wanna maintain that consistency throughout. And that's what I was talking about earlier in the video. If I'm spending so much time trying to figure out you know, which paints I used, um, it could be very frustrating. But if you have this consistent reference point to look at, you are golden. It's also great for visualizing different combinations. Um, for example, if you can visualize different colors and combinations that you're going to, that you know, look good together and work well together. And Having this reference helps plan those compositions and determine the color schemes for each of your artwork. So overall, paint swatches are a valuable tool that help artists make informed decisions about the color selection, mixing, and the composition. And ultimately, it enhances the quality and the coherence of their artwork. But it also helps you to stay organized so that you know what colors that you have in your toolbox as an artist. I did get down all of my Daniel Smith watercolors and I labeled each swatch with the name of the color that I used. I think this is an outstanding feature to this reference pad. I plan on using the extra spaces to do some mixing and some blending with these Daniel Smith watercolors. After I finished the Daniel Smith, I did all of my Cotman watercolors, including my iridescent um, Cotman watercolors as well. I plan on doing my gouache sets next. In addition to having this um, paper pad where I can store it away so that I can uh, reference it later, I also have all of my watercolors um, and gouaches, well, some of my gouaches, not all of my gouaches, but separated into these containers as well within my drawer so that I can uh, grab them easily too when I'm ready to do some painting. Now that you know about this amazing new find, Watch this next video where I'm going to help you discover my cart system. It is, I believe, a game changer.